how to add and change rooms in GameMaker and obviously use a couple buttons just to get through. Should be a nice, fast, short tutorial, but obviously every beginner needs to know how to do this. What I've done here is I've already made a couple rooms. Uh, we should point out that when you do make rooms, it's usually nice to make them the same size. So you'll notice here my title room, 600 by 400, my game room. 600 by 400, etc., etc. It's not mandatory, but you know, when the rooms do change, it keeps the window the same size. Looks good for your beginner games. Uh, let's go to the room title. And you see here I've made a couple objects already. Most people don't think of their game objects as being buttons, but that's exactly what a button can be. It's just a game object that you're intended to click on, and then the code will take you to another room. So, Let's uh, have our start room here, and let's put something like an object in. Let's grab a few of them here. Let's grab the play button. So maybe you have the play button in there. Maybe you have the info button in there. And maybe you have the button you never want them to press in there, the quit button. And, you know, you sort of do an okay job at laying them out. So once they're in your room, now you're probably going to say, well, how do I make these buttons actually go to a new room? All you do is let's just go code the button. So let's do button play first. will take us to the game room. So let's go inside of the play button. Just for standard, basic, simple button work, what you're looking at here is you're looking at just doing the mouse and left pressed or left release. So I'll do left pressed. And when that button is pressed, the only code I'm going to write in here will be fairly easy. It's just going to be room. You'll see here all the room commands start with room underscore. And the most simple method to use here is room go to. And all you have to do here is name the room. Room game. And that's really it. Usually you'd probably also want to, uh, you know, play some sort of sound for some feedback to the user. And that's really it. And that's the kind of code you put in your rooms. Now, while I'm in the game room, I'm just going to add a button here that takes me back. So I'll just put the back button. Who knows where you put it? I'll just put it up there. And I'll tell that back button to the exact same thing. Mouse, left pressed, room, go to, room, title. Now, obviously, you probably don't always want to let them just jump from room to room with buttons, right? But you decide when the buttons show and when they don't show. We give us a quick test. Nothing too fancy here, but it does work to get your uh, intro games working. So I click. I'm in the game room. I click. I'm back to the title screen. And obviously this would work the same with the info and the quit button. The only difference what you may do with the quit button is you may say, I may as well just do it here. Mouse, left pressed. Um, usually you want to play a sound, ask a message or something, but if you just want to end it fast, game end, right? Just the program shuts down when they say quit. And that should all work nicely. That's your basics for uh, switching from room to room. Uh, other commands you possibly like to do, I'll just sneak it into the info button here. But let's say you have a lot of rooms and you just want to go to the next room. I'll just throw here that there's also the command room next. And you'll see here, whoops, next room. That doesn't work well. Room underscore. There it is. Go to next. That will take you to the room next in the list in the order that you organize these rooms. So if you have maybe 15 different levels, and when the level ends, they hit a button, and you just want to hop down to the next room, you can just use this command, room go to next. You don't have to name the next room if you don't want to. Just be careful, though. You don't want to go to the next room when there isn't a next room. And there's commands for that. Maybe we'll go over in another uh, tutorial video. But I think that's the basics for most beginners, just to get you hopping from room to room inside of your games. Remember, you could do these commands when a player hits a door, go to another room, right? Player uh, touches a teleporter, poof, off you go to another room, right? 
So not too bad. Check out the next video, which you may be interested in, which is going back to the last room, which is something popular some people like to do. Because sometimes you, let's say, go to the store, and then when you leave the store, you want to go back to the room that you were last inside of. And so we'll show you how to do that. And that's called uh, Rooms Go Back to Last Room. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps you out.